have this time? Okay, I don't like that. We're turning that off. Okay, moving on to the next area then. <laughs> Everybody, my name is Yoshi Stack, and welcome back to more Paper Mario. In the last episode, we made it to Mount Rugged and ran into Parakeri, the world's worst mailman, who is now going to come with us just so I can make sure he doesn't lose any more people's mail. It's so annoying when that happens. And uh, now in this episode, we're going to enter Dry Dry Desert, and this is going to be a whole thing. So. The path on Dry Dry Desert to make it to Dry Dry Outpost, which is our ultimate goal, is actually very straightforward in a very literal sense. You continue on this path, like, just keep going right and you'll make it there. The problem is, the desert itself is about a 7x7 seven seven grid, and a lot of it has stuff in it. And some of it's pretty good stuff. So instead of going straight to Dry Dry Outpost, I'm gonna do the stupid thing and start from the top right, or no, the top left, excuse me. And we're gonna do this column by column. It is not really advised you do this, and I'm sure there'll be a lot of cutting and fast forwarding on sections where nothing happens because there's nothing there. Um, but I'm trying to show off as much of this game as I can, and this is a part of this game. We will start off with the section that we're in now, though, because we're right here, and uh, Cooper should have something to say about this guy. Well, hello there, old boy. How goes the travels, eh? I'm known as Colorado. I'm an archeologist, you know. I travel the world. At the moment, I'm turning Dry Dry Desert upside down to find the Dry Dry Ruins. My assistants have attempted to gather information in Dry Dry Outpost, which is near here. And sadly, as of yet, we're having little success. All I need is a clue and we'll be golden. What? Whoa! You're Professor Colorado! It's Cooper! I live next to you! It's so great to see you! I never would have expected to meet up with you out here! I'm right in the middle of an expedition with Mario! I want to be an archaeologist like you! Hello there, Cooper. It's been ages. So, if you're serious about taking up archaeology, you and I should go exploring someday. Anytime, really. For now, you concentrate on your adventure with Mario. You'll never attain such fame in archaeology as I have if you don't finish one task before starting the next. Whoa, okay. As soon as we're done saving the princess and Mushroom Kingdom and everything, you and I will go exploring. Good for Cooper, he met his idol. Get to the desert town, dry dry up, let's just go due east on this path. I'd be careful not to stray from the path if I were you. You may find some trouble and you'll definitely get lost. Even the path isn't that safe, so watch out for enemies. <laughs> I'm going to ignore that advice because I'm stupid. We're assisting Professor Colorado. Right now, we're waiting on the guy who hiked over to Dry Dry Outpost to try and bring back some information. Did you know the people at Dry Dry Outpost are descendants of the makers of Dry Dry Ruins? A cool thought, huh? People have been living here and watching over the ruins for many generations. That is indeed cool. Uh, I'm gonna bring Park Carry back out, actually, though, because we've actually got something for him. And you're Colorado, correct? My name's Park Carry. I deliver letters. I believe I have one for you. Hang on a moment. And here we go. So clearly I'm doing them as we find them, so I guess that answers my question from last time. Another letter's duly delivered. Postman's job is never done, especially when you lose the letters. I'm judging Parakeri a lot, but... I have reasons, okay. Oh, good show. It's a letter from my wife. Thank you ever so, old chap. This is just what I need to give me strength to go on. I know. I'll pass this along with a spot of thanks. I came across it while I was immersed in the dig around here. And we get ourselves another star piece. And uh, with that, we're gonna have enough for that peekaboo badge, so that's great. We are, however, going to, uh, as I said, go... All the way up here, and we'll, we'll, we'll come back here. Like I said, we're gonna start in the top left corner, and then come down. Okay. Let's start here! Uh, well, here's some new enemies. Hang on. <laughs> I need my, I need my, my guy out for this. Alright. 
This is a pokey! They, uh, they, I'd say move faster, but they really don't need to. This is Pokey, an evil cactus. Pokies attack by throwing parts of their bodies or by coming up close and falling on you. Max HP 4, attack power 2, defense power 0. Be careful fighting them. It'll hurt if you jump on their spiky heads. They also have an annoying habit of calling in reinforcements. Let's beat them quickly. Yeah, so uh, even though we just got Paracarry, it's actually advised that you have Cooper out for most of this, because he's the only one that's not going to get hurt from uh, touching a Pokey. And of course you made a friend, because why wouldn't you? Okay. So it begins. Yeah, Pokies aren't my favorite enemies in the world to fight, and, but there, there's going to be a lot of them around here. Uh, yeah, if Cooper runs into them, or a... Cool! That was less cool. Uh, yeah, if Cooper runs into them, they do lose a segment of themselves. Uh, I don't... I think they can reform themselves? I don't... I don't actually remember offhand. Um... Yeah, they're... they're nothing too special. This is, again, just the awkward timing of, uh, something being thrown at you. Okay. Well, that... that's done, and there are gonna be a lot of these guys. I'm also looking at a map while this is going on, so if I sound distracted at some point... Because I am. Oh, cool, we, we found a, a fright jar. Um, I don't really want it. <laughs> There's gonna be a lot of items we find around here, and uh, I'm gonna have to get rid of some of them to be able to carry all of them. Oh god, don't, don't do that. Do it. I don't have anything to use. Just leveled up, what am I doing? Okay, I'm gonna cut this. Oh wow, oh! Okay, uh, we got a dried fruit. This uh, restores 15 HP. This is actually really good. Um, I will... We'll, we'll use a mushroom, actually, just to be able to hold on to that. Okay. Uh, cause there, is there anything in here? There's nothing, and we already know there's nothing in um, the one down here. So uh, fast forward, go! Boy, that was fun. Okay. Uh, okay, yeah, here they are. Oh my god, there's two of them. Okay, and I didn't switch to... Goombario. I'm good at this game. Okay, this is a bandit. This is a bandit. Bandits bump into you hard and shake up your pockets. They can steal up to 10 coins. Max HP 5, attack power 2, defense power 0. They'll slyly approach and then slam into you all of a sudden. If you can damage them with an attack, you can get their stolen coins back. Let's beat them before they make off with their loot. Uh, yeah, these guys will actually steal from you. Like that. They're very sad if you, uh, stop them, though. It's, uh, another sound effect I really like. This game is full of great sound effects. Like, I remember, I remember the, the pretty lucky one, but a lot, there's a lot of others that I'm just like, oh, wow, that's very fun. So, A plus sound design. Okay, yeah, the, these guys are annoying. Uh, they will run away if you don't hit them and get your coin back. So, as you can imagine, it's very easy to lose your money if you encounter, like, four of them at a time. And wow, this needs to stop. Okay, uh, I'm gonna use another mushroom, and I'll just let Gumbario hit that guy. Good god. Okay. This is... This is certainly going. There we go. Now he's dead! Thank god. But I'm about to fight another one, aren't I? Yeah, okay, come here. Wow, you, you, you lost that. Okay, my guy. My guy, come here. Oh god, there's four of them. Uh, okay. That guy has missed two times now. That's actually really funny. And that guy has stolen from me twice, and that is significantly less funny. At least in my opinion. May maybe someone thinks it's hilarious that I've been... stolen from? I don't know. Words are hard! Chocolate is a verb! I learned this. Okay, well the good news is that we should at least get another level up at some point while we're, we're doing all this. Okay. The there is something out here. You'll see, uh, this thing. It, it reveals that when we hit it once, which is a mushroom, which I did use one in that fight, so that's... That's good. Uh, I'm actually gonna go ahead and uh, use this fried shroom. 
because I need some more room in my inventory, because when we hit this ten times, it reveals another thing, which is a super shroom. But if we hit it like a hundred times, give me a moment. Unlock another block, which gives us an ultra shroom. An ultra fine mushroom restores 50 HP. Those items are rare, um, and we're obviously gonna want to save that for a while. Okay, let's keep moving then. Sarah, uh, th there's a coin block here. That's, I believe, the only exciting thing here, but I suppose it is worth noting because it is something which is better than some block. There's also a bandit that... There's, there's two bandits. Okay. Okay, we're at the last uh, section for... We'll call it Column A, and uh, the only thing here is a pokey that I did not get the first strike on, so that- oh my god. That's the first thing done. I'll be right back. <laughs> okay, but yeah, that's- that's column A done, so let's move on to column B, and the first thing, uh, actually will have something in it. Uh, it doesn't look like it. Stand on this rock. We got the attacks- attack effect C badge, so let's see what sound effect that gives us this time. Hang on, where- please game. There it is. What, what do we have this time? Okay, I don't like that. We're turning that off. Okay, moving on to the next area then. Okay, so there's nothing actually here, but there is this whirlwind that we're not gonna touch because it will send us to, I believe, the top right corner there's a few of these throughout there's there's one that we will want to touch at some point uh, i will note it when we get there but otherwise uh here's the main path so you know there's that oh god Okay, well, there's nothing here, but I did get enough experience points to level up again. And I'm gonna go ahead and actually pick BP again, just so I can actually, uh, do some stuff with my badges. Although, before I do that, I can inform you that, uh, aside from the very bottom, column B has nothing in it. And, okay, except some pokies here that want to kill me. So on to column C! And, uh, let me look at my badges before I do that. Okay. What do I want on? Um... BD spin, refund... And... Put power jump back on. Cool. Okay. Back to... Back to just walking. Well, okay, well, no. I'll, I'll note this rock. Remember this is here. Okay. Moving on! Oh, finally, a room that has stuff in it, including a bunch of enemies. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, that's a lot. That's a lot, a lot. Okay. Hmm. Not... Not playing this game. Okay. Oh, I did that too early. I'm so dumb. Okay. That's not my favorite. Let's hope that doesn't backfire too badly on me. Ow. There we go. Don't football tackle me. Ow. Ah. <sighs> and to think we just leveled up and I already squandered that so badly. Oh god. I already had to use a super shroom at one point. Okay. This is going great. And all all this and that 
That had a single coin in it. This is the only one that has an item. It's got a fire flower. Okay. Moving on before I die. All right, on this on this one, we have a a block that gives you 10 coins. Not very exciting, but it's here. These, I think this these other blocks are empty. Yep. Okay. Well, Boy, here's a block. That's not very exciting, but on top of it is also nothing. Okay, I thought this was a different one. Moving on. So as you can see, uh, this column is not very exciting either. And oh my god, why? Why do you keep doing this to, to the this to me game. I can't even talk. I'm so annoyed by it. Huh. Thank God for Quake Hammer and Power Shell. They're, they're my saving graces against all of these pokies. Okay. On to the next column. Okay, here we've got another block with 10 coins in it. It's very exciting, but additionally, we've got, oh god, a, a whirlwind. Don't, don't touch that one. We got a honey syrup, which, uh, well, I'll use that in a battle so I can at least get a refund on it. But in more exciting news, you come to this, this one, and there are these three trees here. Jump here, you got the runaway pay badge. Let's Mario earn star points even if he escapes from battle. Uh, how much BP does that cost? Can... Could you please just let me skip? Oh, okay, there it is, game. Two, um, I did this. I've never found this badge before, so I can't say that I've ever used it. Um, it's whatever, you know, not not something I've, I've used, so I wouldn't really worry about it. Oh, back on the path. Hello, fellow travelers. I'm just in the middle of a journey, just as you appear to be. Other travelers I meet are like brothers and sisters to me. If a town is what you seek, follow this path to the east. A desert town called Dry Dry Outpost awaits at the path's end. Uh, yeah, we'll we'll get there eventually. I just chose to do this in the dumbest way possible. Back to back to silence. Okay. Oh, okay, so that didn't last long because uh, remember how I said that there is a, a whirlwind you want to touch? Uh, we're gonna come back to this one in a moment because uh, first, this is the bottom of this column. Uh, does this? This is not the one either. Okay, there's there's a single coin there, but this. Touch this one because it will take us to... This badge, the spin attack, lets Mario destroy a weaker enemy with a spinning move. So it's kind of like, which is funny because I made a Paper Mario comparison in this playthrough, uh, Earthbound, uh, when you can destroy a weaker enemy. This is kind of a similar thing, I, but I don't think you get experience points for this. Um, I have not used that badge myself either. Where is it in here? There's Dizzy Attack, Spin Attack, 3 BP. Again, I, I haven't really used it, but I can see how it would be useful. Okay, uh, this put us... Okay, well, here's... Get another item. It's a stopwatch. If it works, paralyzes all enemies for a short time. Um... I was gonna use it in battle, but, uh... I haven't gotten into a battle yet, so we're not gonna worry about it. But this, this literally just takes you to the next column over. It, like, diagonal to the right one. That's what it takes you up. Okay, the bottom row or the bottom part of this column doesn't have anything in it, but there is stuff here. Uh, most notably, oh god, <laughs> there's some grass and here's a tasty tonic. Uh, okay, is there anything? We're not using this. I can always get another one. Although I can use the stopwatch. Here, come here. Let me use the stopwatch. All right, stopwatch. Gives us a nice refund. 
And if it works, come on, game. Everyone's frozen in time. It sucks to be you. Now I can use PowerShell to my heart's content. Ha 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 ha. Yeah, it's not an item I've used often, honestly, but I can see it being useful if it works. But I mean, and that's the thing with all these items, if it works, you have to bank on the fact that it will work, and usually, they don't. Okay, oh, well, it went away anyway. Okay, let's, uh, let's go up this column, shall we? Okay, here's a bunch of blocks and a bunch of bandits. Um, two of these have ten coins in them. We got this one that has ten coins. And I believe... Uh, is it... I think it's this one. Yeah, this one's the other one. You can get yourself twenty coins. Um, like normal Mario stuff that, like, if you get interrupted while doing it, you don't get all the money. So, keep that in mind. Moving on. Oh god, this is like the pokey breeding grounds. Okay. There's so many of them. I didn't even think the game could load this many. Okay, we got we got a fire fire flower. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, well, I'm surprised that we didn't We weren't going to get out of that unscathed, I guess. Um we got two fire flowers. Let's let's use this one. Wow. Okay. I was not expecting I didn't even know the game could load that many enemies. Okay. Full of surprises, isn't it? Let's, uh, let's get rid of these last two and then, um, move on to what should be our final column. This, uh, this both has taken longer and hasn't taken as long as I thought it was, was going to. God, words are hard. Um, I know a lot of it for you has either been sped up or cut out. I haven't figured out how I'm going to edit that as of this moment, but, um, yeah. I would not recommend doing it this way. I would recommend just looking at a map. That's the way I could have done it. I chose to do this the hard way. I mean, I'm looking at a map. Uh, oh god. There does not seem to be a whole lot here. Okay, there's there's a ten coin block. How exciting. And a coin here. Is there is Are there coins in here? No, but there are bandits. Okay, moving on. Back on the main path, and, uh, this is where you would find... No, it's here. Dry Dry Outpost. Uh, we're not going in there quite yet. Hit this tree, though, and you'll find a letter that we will deliver later. Okay. This... Okay, this is where I need this block. Okay, come here. Oh, God. Okay, when I said come here, you were not who I was referring to. Neither are you! Oh my god, please, leave me alone. Oh god. Okay! Uh, oh, I already hit the block. Oh god, that almost disappeared. Okay, that would have been bad. This is a life shroom. A life-giving mushroom restores 10 HP when Mario's HP hits zero. This is an instant revive item. I'm so mad. I went, oh my God. I went through all that trouble for the freaking mushroom. Oh my God. We're gonna roll with it. Okay. Cause I'm not, I'm not going through all this again. Okay, I was gonna say it's very important that we hold on to that and save it for later, and then Mario just stuffed it into his mouth. Said, screw you, I know what I'm about, Yoshi. Wow. Okay, we're just gonna, just gonna move on. It wouldn't be me if something didn't go wrong. Um, we, we made it to an oasis, I, God. I'm not gonna live that one down. Okay. Uh, at least there's a, there's a heal block. I'm gonna be mad about that one all night. Okay. 
Uh, we can hit these trees and get some more items. We found a lime, which restores three FP. And a lemon. The lemon is the actual... You want the lemon. <sighs> Not as much as I want that live shroom. But the other important thing here, this is a super block. With this, you can upgrade one of your party members. The member you upgrade will gain attack power. The party member will also master a new ability. Which party member do you want to upgrade? This is how uh, you make sure that your party members can keep up with you, because eventually Mario will start doing more damage. Um, there's not really a, a bad option to pick for this first one. Mario will get charge, Cooper gets dizzy shell, Bombette gets power bomb, and hard carry can get airlift. The more important thing than the ability is that they will do extra damage. We've been using Cooper a lot because we've been encountering a lot of pokies, so I think we're going to give this to Cooper. Want to upgrade this member? I do. And then the light shines. And Cooper powers up to super rank. So now he will do an extra point of damage with all his attacks, which is fantastic. Okay, now we're going to finally move back to dry... Um, hmm. So I'm, I'm gonna be thinking about that for the rest of my life, the fact that I'm screwed that up. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and call it here. I've been recording for a while. I don't know how long this episode turned out to be and how much of it is just fast forwarded stuff. If it's short, I'm sorry. Uh, but I still have an outro if you made it this far. Thank you so much for putting up with me and my awful gameplay. Uh, <laughs> and I hope you'll join me next time where we enter Dry Dry Outpost. See you then.